we're officially in the demon realm. And if even if no one cares about Dragon Ball Daima, God, God damn, nothing is happening. Apparently, today's episode actually popped up. I'd like to give it one last try before dropping this show. Because, like, let's get real. Don't tell me you actually like Dragon Ball Daima. Because if you did, you would have watched the previous episodes. And you didn't. And who am I talking to right now? Nobody. Because those people didn't even click on the video. And I'm just pissing off the people that's like, please don't drop this show. All right, let's see how good this episode is. Let's begin today's reaction. The next day, Glorio's thing, his ship is gone. There's an axe with a note on it, though. Chatty. Name? Nope. How are we gonna go meet the Demon King, bro? Yeah, we can fly. Can Gloria fly? Okay. Because the volcano gas air thing, where there's like a. Basically, like, kind of similar to like higher gravity and you just can't fly as well here. But we're just like really nerfed. Child body, recalibrating. Length of our limbs also shorter. We're gonna walk all the way for another fucking 20 episodes, bro. It's the abyss shit. You touch it, you die immediately. Is there no buses? Yeah, they said Sea of Darkness, it's one shot. Ooh. The fight animation is very crisp. This is better bites than like most of the enemies airing right now. What I'm confused about is how... Okay, Glory is pretty strong, but then again, I'm not really sure how strong this, you know, monster was. It could have been just a random fucking beast that really doesn't matter at the end of the day. But the Sea of Darkness, Glory said, you touch that shit, it's an instant death, but the monster's from the Sea of Darkness. Like, is he just capping? Is he just saying, like, it's really dangerous down there, but we wouldn't actually die if we just touched foot in there? Really? It might be. Alright, power scaling. Glorio higher than Supreme Kai. Confirmed. Still haven't seen him transform yet. Like the easiest way to overcome these like heavier movements, sluggish movements, is to go Super Saiyan. They constantly do that shit, you know, back in Dragon Ball Z when they're like training in like Bulma's like extra gravity caps, uh, you know, training rooms. But if we did Super Saiyan, we kind of like lose our energy, I guess. Intuition. Key. I love how Key then was like Key then inspired so many different other battle shonen resources like Mana, Chakra, Nen, Reiatsu, and Bleach. In One Piece, it's it's much different. One Piece is a it doesn't really have like like a magic resource, right? It 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 plays in its own different realm of shit, but Key really did like start it all. Whoa! <laughs> she thick. <laughs> Damn, Granny. Actually, can't say the Granny. Dun dun dun. Yo, are those eyeballs in the tea? What the fuck? It's like bubble tea, but rather than tapioca pearl, there's eyeballs. Yeah, yeah, what's the floating things? He said honey. 
healthiest drink? It looks like Goku's dying right now. They don't, they don't really sell a fucking ship here. No. You saw ships here? <laughs> Do you have a plane? Just came to a fucking cafe and asked for a plane? <laughs> Bruh. He can't hear shit. How did this do? Fuck you. No, 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 no. He just whispered. No. There's no way you could have heard Glorio. You just spoiled. You leaked it. Your act is up, old man. You're not fucking deaf. Don't lie to me. See? Look at him. Look at him get desperate. Bruh. Look like a bug. It's like candy, maybe. Revive bug. Senzu bean. Maybe not complete like Senzu bean, but restore stamina if you eat it. So we can eat these and fly then. That'd be w Maybe that's cheaper than just like bang a plane, bro. Then you mean like fills up your appetite? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, she's not from, you know, Dragon Ball Z. She's from the demon world. But then you mean, I think like, not only does it full restore your like injuries, your stamina, but your appetite too. I think it was said in Dragon Ball. Many bugs, many different types of utility, medicines. Potaro? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You can fuse? Okay. For a while. So it's temporary thing. So it's, it's not even like a permanent like a restriction either. We can literally fuse. Let's do it. Yeah. Good. I... <laughs> what did he call it? Gorilla? <laughs> Goliro. <laughs> it's Glorio. I think Goku also, like, you know, these main characters that constantly forgets other people's name. Like, Luffy does that shit all the time, right? Like, I think that is also, like, a thing that was inspired from Dragon Ball. But, um, I still hope that they do the whole fusion hot dance thing, even if they don't have to. Basically, they'll do the dance for the shits and giggles and eat the fucking fusion bug. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> How does still place in business then? Wrong name again. The plane. Bro actually just had a random plane for sale. Lucky. Yeah, he didn't see he had a plane. He said he had a sky seat actually. Love-filled night? Yeah, I didn't ask that for the package. What are you fucking talking about love-filled night? Whoa, whoa, you're getting the wrong idea. It sounds like a love hotel you're selling us. Probably not amazing. What is it? What's she pulling? What is this, bro? Sky seed? This can help us fly? Like, is this just a catapult? This is not a plane. Are we just gonna get launched by the sky seat thing? It's a catapult. Oh, we're about to get launched, I think. Let's see it. Okay. What about the landing? You know what this reminds me of? Does anybody remember this Giga Chat here?
Motherfucking Tao Pai Pai, baby. Motherfucking Tao Pai Pai. He broke off a pillar. Threw that shit. Then he jumped on it. And that's his mode of transport. This reminds me of that. No? It's just wherever it takes us. Yeah, I mean, you can fly. You can just fly. Fly. I really want to go into the Sea of Darkness, though. They're really hyping it up like it's so dangerous. That little girl character, when's she gonna show up? Great. Was it worth the money? Jesus Christ. Yeah, straight up, I bet you if you did the math, if we bought those stamina bugs instead of buying the seed, we could have just flown the entire way while eating the bugs, and I bet we could have gotten there faster with less money. They both don't want to eat it. Glorio, he's acting so cool and mysterious, but he's a little childish for that. Yeah, they're protected by the cyborg things. Like, the fact that Goma had to come to Earth because he couldn't even get his own Dragon Balls here kind of speaks volumes of how strong those monsters could be guarding it. That Namekian guy created it. Wonder how strong they really are. In terms of power scaling, like what? Are they stronger than Boo? The OGs. The garden. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, so there is value in being in the third world. I thought that this is just like a long detour and eventually we have to get to go to the first world where all the Dragon Balls are, but each zone has its own Dragon Ball, and there's only three Dragon Balls that you need to collect for... Get your wish here now, huh? No seven Dragon Balls, just three. Tamagami. I don't know what Gami means, but Tama means balls, right? Ball monsters? Let's do it. I wonder after we gather them if there's like a secret code name that you have to say to summon this version of Shenron. No one ever in the history. We're definitely gonna do it. The way Popo, Mr. Popo was just pushed there was so fucked up. It's so funny though. Mm. Yo, why did Dende get kidnapped though? I forget the reason why Goma specifically picked Dende. Because Dende has the powers to help him do what? Maybe something with the Dragon Balls? I forget, but they did just take Dende. Why would they do that? I forget. Hold up, I missed something there. Where is it? Hold up. Remember the warp summoner? there? It's in the opposite direction. Ah, it's literally those goldfish things. Wherever they are, the Tamagami's around. すぎますね。と助けるついでにドラゴンボールを集めて願いを叶えてもらえば、俺たちも大人にも。なるほど。試してもいいかもしれんな。あなたまでなんですか。ですレスレクトンデンデッツイズナーアビッグディール。見つから
I think Gloria was very sus. What was that? Whoa. You see that? You see that? <laughs> the little smirk he has? It turned. The frown turned into a smirk there. Glorio is very sus. Huh? Oh, can you just drink this? Are we allowed to drink this? I think so? Ooh, big lineup. Big important announcement happening. Gen... Genpe? Ah, shit. I bet these poor village folks are taxed beyond what they can produce and now they have to offer sacrifices and shit. Goku, go save them. Okay, what's the offerings? <gasps> Three gold coins! That's too much! Pay will forfeit three years of their lives. You can take lifespan as payment. And if you look at this thing, there is this device that has like a measurement reading. I'm sure that is the lifespan that they're collecting. Huh. So maybe that this is the intention that, of course, they would never be able to pay up three gold coins. But the real goal is to just make an excuse to capture the lifespan so that Goma just keeps on living forever? Nine years of lifespan. We're gonna get hunted down? Holy shit. Everyone in this place has the colors? Goku, save him! They did have coins. I thought no one could pay. No, not his lifespan. Dude, this shit just looks like a fucking gas pump. What what are they gonna do? Where where does the pump go? Is it gonna go over in the crotch area? Is it gonna go in his ass? Is it gonna go in his mouth? Okay, it's in the back. I don't know, I thought it'd be more funnier if it was sucking the fucking lifespan out of his booty. Nine years of lifespan. Just like that, huh? Honestly, put me out of my misery. Fuck living in this shitty world with, you know, a lifestyle like this. Just take all my lifespan, bro. Be a better fucking... Be experienced than just suffering here. Yes! Goku, do it! Fuck shit up! Yo, I don't think this guy has enough lifespan to give at this point, bro. Oh shit, what's gonna happen if they take his lifespan and he just died? Goku! It's gonna be the girl. It's gonna be the girl, the young girl that we see in the intermission scene. A hero is showing up. <laughs> She's wearing a mask though. Wasabi bomb? It didn't do shit. <laughs> well, it was a self-made, homemade little, you know, arts and craft item. I, 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 I thought they were gonna really hype her up. I'm like, oh, a vigilante is showing up to save everybody. Wah, wah. <laughs> oh, shit. I guess she doesn't have a collar, huh? Goku! Let's go! Let's go! Extend, baby! Son Goku! Dude, the fight scenes are so good. I can't just like... It's, it's actually like... 
bro, this is how every fight should, should be in the enemies that we're watching recently. But like everything just gets off screen. It's crazy to see the frames and movements. Like that flip right here. Look at that. Oh. Parkour, parkour. Still no Super Saiyan though. Only base mode needed. Easy. Shit, maybe we should have done that before the other dudes got their lifespans taken away, but hey, who gives a fuck? We did it! Uh, now what? Don't answer. Don't answer. But the other girl got away. I still think she's the girl from the intermission scene, though. There she is. Saved your ass. Cliffhanger incoming. Nope. I have no clue who this is. You gonna say something? Nope. She ain't gonna say anything. And that is today's episode of Dragon Ball and pretty action packed episode. You know, last episode we had a bar fight, but. Everything looks good. I'm just a little um, worried about the pacing and the direction of this show because everything's still very like, you know, kind of like slice of life and just chill. But things are getting more heated. We learned the existence of these bugs that's capable of acting like a senzo bean or even like a temporary fusion. I think the fusion creates an opportunity for Goku to be, you know, fusing with other people, which is going to be really cool to see different forms. When's Vegeta coming over? I'm not sure. Maybe we can fuse it, you know, Supreme Kai. Who knows? There is something very suspicious with Glorio. The smirk that he had when kind of like encouraging Goku to find a Dragon Ball. So I don't know really what's about that. Ultimately, it's probably because he's figured out that, oh, maybe they can actually beat the Tamagamis and then we can just take the Dragon Balls and make our own wish. Glorio right now is set up as a very suspicious guy, but it could be just a red herring and he's actually a good guy all along. The Sea of Darkness constantly gets mentioned as being like this like one shot just KO thing. We did see like a fish monster come out of it, so I doubt that just because you touch it, you die, but I don't know. I just still want to see Goku kind of go in there. The Tamagamis are all protecting each Dragon Ball. Each Dragon Ball is in different worlds of Demon Worlds 1, 2, 3. I'm going to assume as we get closer to 1, the stronger the Tamagamis will be, and they're located near the whole big floating mechanic goldfish thing. And we finally got to see this girl that we see in the intermission scene. She seems to be like a creative engineer type making a homemade wasabi bombs and stuff like that she's like a vigilante pretty cool but i think this is gonna be her crew and we'll see what happens next time that's it from me if you're still here though and if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for even more content and until next time take care